Hi, my name is Curtis Mergle. I'm with API Services, and I'm here today at Baycast, and we're gonna calibrate this gantry mill, and we're gonna be utilizing an XD laser. So one of the first things that we need to do is we need to get our equipment out and start setting up our laser. And today we're gonna to put it right here on this little stand. And this is gonna be our starting point that we will begin our measurement. Now this laser is an XD6, which means that from one setup, I'll be able to do all six degrees of freedom. This will give us the linear position, the straightnesses in two directions, and the angles of pitch, yaw, and roll. So at this point, I need to move my machine in position and we will start the sensor set up once I get that to that position. That point right there, we should be in a close enough proximity to where I can set my sensor up and we'll begin that operation. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I've got a hand pendant on the back side of the machine and we're going to hand move the machine to get the sensor in the right position in line with the XD laser before we start our buck in process. What you can see here, you can see our sensor and you see the red laser dot off to the side of the sensor. And the reason you're seeing it blinking right now is because the XD laser is still warming up. But it's enough there for me to start the process. And by the time I get done with the process, the XD laser should be completely warm and ready to start our measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the sensor to where it's in line with the, the sensor, which the sensor has a mirror right at the bottom between those two holes and that's where I want my laser dot. So we're gonna start moving So right there you can see side to side, I'm pretty close. Now we gotta get it up and down. So that right there, you can see that I'm right in the center of that mirror, right where I need to be. And the reason that mirror is there, as we start our process and we get it pretty close, that mirror is gonna reflect that beam back into the XD laser. And in order for the angle or the laser intensity to be accurate enough or high enough, for us to really get good accurate measurements, we need to have that tilted, the mirror adjusted to where that beam goes right back in the hole where it comes out of. So our setup for the XD laser begins at the most negative end of travel. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move the machine to the most positive end of travel. And that's where we wanna have, we'll make our, our adjustments there as well to where we get our laser right in the center of that mirror there as well. And those adjustments will be made on the back of the laser itself. So this is the most negative or most positive end of our travel. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go look and see where the laser beam lines up on our sensor. And we wanna fine tune that to where we get it in the center of that mirror, just like we did on the other end. It looks like I got pretty lucky. This, this length of this machine that we're gonna be measuring is just under 12 meters. So by setting the XD laser up at that end with the sensor real close, it's really hard to get your angle exact. So you can see now the laser beam is right there. Normally it could be off anywhere. You just never know. So what we wanna do now, being I'm pretty close, we're gonna go back to the XD laser and we're just gonna fine tune it and bring our beam in right to that mirror. So these are our fine tune knobs. To the back of our laser. This goes up and down, this one goes side to side. So right now we want to move it up and we want to pull it back just a little bit and I will go check and see how we did and I may have to fine tune just a bit more. We're going right back to the, the start point which is going to be the most negative end of travel and then we will go ahead and, and readjust our machine where we're right back in the center again. 
So when we adjust the, the XD laser, we change the angle. All right, so like we moved it mostly up and a little bit side to side. When we change that angle, it could affect our position, our start position. So that's what we wanna come back down. We wanna fine tooth that one more time and then we're gonna go back down to the end and finish our, our buck end. And then we'll be ready to hook up to the laptop. So because we were close at the far end, you can see that now that what little bit of adjustment we made, we came back to the start position here and it's right in the dead center. So the last thing we want to do for our bucking process, now that we've got center to center on the mirrors, we've got a straight laser beam, we want to get that angle of incidence of the, ex of the laser beam back into our bottom hole. So I'm going to move the machine eh, probably about six feet and that should be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's got to be fairly close. So that's what we want to do. We want to get the angle back into the bottom hole. So as I discussed, you can see the reflection of the beam above the top hole. We want it down in the bottom hole. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll have to make a series of mechanical adjustments on the sensor just to move that down there and then we'll be set to go. So moving this, you can see the laser beam moving. Now I'm going to move it dry down and I like to go a little past it because it's going to spring back a little bit. So up and down is pretty close. I'm going to move it side to side just a little bit. And that particular move moved everything. So we're going to move it up and down again a little bit. And that position right there is plenty good enough. So what I have here is a communication device and this communicates wirelessly between our sensor and the XD laser. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook this up and we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna be able to see the communication between the XD, the sensor and the laptop. So on the front of our sensor, where we aligned up to the mirror, now we're gonna turn that mirror out of position and we're going to open it up to the holes in the orifice of the sensor. Now you have the laser beam traveling through the sensor, coming out the top hole and back into the top hole of the XD laser. Now with all of that being said, this is what the screen would look like on a laptop that shows me my linear position, my two straightnesses, and my three angles. For right now, to, to finalize our buck end, we're gonna concentrate just on the two straightnesses, which means it's gonna be up and down and side to side. So I'm gonna physically move the machine at this position and make these uh, 40 or less. And we just dial that in to get it where we want it. And for now, that's plenty close. We'll do the same thing for the up and down in the Z axis. And that's plenty close there. So now, just like before, we're gonna take our machine to the most positive end of travel, and then we're gonna fine tune the laser with the numbers. So now you can see the numbers have changed, obviously, since we moved it down to the other end. So now we're gonna dial it in, the same as we did with our original buck end. So now we're just gonna fine tune it with the numbers. I'm gonna start with the up and down which would be the straightness and YY. You can see that number starting to come closer to zero.
So the goal here is to try and get these two numbers. I try to get them less than 40. So really all they are is just a reference, but as long as they're yellow, the measurement will take place. So at this point, you can see our buck in is good. We have low numbers there, which is what we're, we're trying to achieve. So that part of it is good. Now it's time to jump down here. We want to adjust our angles. So you have the first one is gonna be your yaw, then your pitch and your roll. And on our sensor, we have three knobs for those. Knob A will be our first yaw cell. We're gonna bring that down. and our pitch is good. Now, our roll is based off of a reference level. That reference level is right down here, this little box that I set up originally, and the bottom number on that screen that I just popped up is the number that we want to adjust. So that's good there. So now you can see we have what I will call a real number there for our roll. Now we want to adjust that roll right here. Now, just like before on the straightnesses, these bottom numbers here are for reference only as well. So our measurement now is, is good, our, our, our setup is good, and it's time to set up for our measurement. So I've got my program set, it's sitting on go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit reset and start and now our measurement will begin you can see it dwelling and from here on out it's all automatic it'll just run the program will run and it'll take the measurements as it runs <laughs> 